ambulance dispatch for what town or city? Red Girl, Alberta. She's not breathing. She's having difficulty breathing right now. Please. Okay. Please. 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 They're on their way, okay? How old is she? She's 18 months. She's 18 months. Mon nom est Leslie Bangamba et je vis à Red Deer, Alberta. En avril 2020, ma petite fille Amélie est presque morte après avoir avalé un petit pile bouton. Encore maintenant, c'est vraiment difficile pour moi d'en parler. Je ne souhaite à personne de vivre ça. I'm Matthew Carroll. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Stollery Children's Hospital in Edmonton, Alberta. This one in the middle is the button battery and you can see it's stuck. The energy from these button batteries causes tissue damage within about 15 minutes. So from my point of view, button batteries are one of the most dangerous things you can potentially have in your household. They need to stay in the packaging locked up until you're ready to use them. Um, when you remove them from devices or you have a device where it has, it's gone flat, don't presume that the batteries are dead. They still have enough, in, uh, enough energy in them to create injury. So we'll lock them up somewhere safe and then when convenient, drop them off to your recycling centre locally, but make sure to keep them away from the kids because if they do put them in their mouths, we have to treat that as a surgical emergency. Le problème avec les piles boutons, ils ont l'air inoffensifs. Mais en réalité, des enfants continuent à mourir après avoir avalé une pile bouton. Mm -hmm. 